Welcome to Talk Tennis. We have a fun little chat today about more gear and joining me is Tiffany and Brittany. Thanks, you guys. Hello. We got the ladies here today and we are talking about grip size, specifically the benefits of a smaller grip. However, I kind of want to start this out. Um, I like a bigger grip, so change my mind. Uh, and you too, I know will. So <laughs> first things first, I guess, what is your current racket of choice and what is your current grip handle size of choice? Tiff, why don't you go ahead? I am using the Prince Textream Tour 100P and my grip of choice is four and a quarter. Okay. And I am Yonix E-Zone 100 and my grip size is also a quarter. <laughs> And I am a four and three eighths kind of lady over here. So a lot of people don't realize that when we are testing rackets, sometimes we only get one tester. So it can be very controversial in the office because sometimes the grip is small. There are certain brands that seem to send smaller grip sizes and sometimes it is big. So <laughs> um, I kind of wanted to start there. When you guys are stuck testing a grip size that's bigger than what you like, is there anything that you do or are there any issues that you automatically have? Well, you know, for me, I actually grew up playing with a four and three eight script. So, I mean, it's not like I'd never played with it. I'm more comfortable in a quarter, just it's easier for me to hold on to. I think for me, the biggest thing is that I know some people like on the team like halves. And so I always am removing over grips if um, there is a four and three eights, just because I want it to feel as small as possible in my hand. Yeah, I know that some of the testers even will wrap double over grips if it's feeling too <laughs> too small for them. So, Booney, yeah. we're calling you out. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know, we just we we uh, adjust to make it work. Um, I think I know that there are certain sensations for me that if like a grip is too big, that is just a little bit hard, harder to hold on to. How about you, Brett? Dang, Tiff nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I am using a Yonix E-Zone 100 also in the quarter grip size. And I think starting in juniors, I was actually like Tiffany and I used the uh, three eighths grip size all through juniors. And then actually in college for a little bit, probably uh, went down into that quarter grip size, probably my, around my sophomore junior year and have stuck with that grip size ever since. And I think for me, um, when we're play testing rackets, yeah, I just have to really make sure that if it's a three eighths grip size, I make sure that I am not using any sort of over grip and you kind of just for play testing all these years, you can adjust with what you're feeling with a three eighths grip size versus a quarter and kind of figure out what's wor what works for you and what doesn't. So really, I, I think all of us have been able to kind of adjust, you know, with the grip size, what we think works well with that grip size or not. Nice. So the, the one thing that you guys have in common is that you were using bigger grips and you've gone down to a smaller grip. So that's perfect because I wanted to ask you guys what the biggest benefits you find you get with a smaller grip size. There's one theory in particular, and I don't know if, we could, if it needs to be the word theory. <laughs> um, and there's a couple of players on tour that we've, we've heard talk about their grip size. So what are some of the benefits that you're finding with a smaller grip? So I actually got props. <laughs> yes. Love a prop. Um, so when I went down, I, I know some people also as well, I hold my grip really low and sometimes even on my serve, my little pinky will uh, hang off the edge. Okay. And so with that smaller grip size, I can really grip the racket well. And just with that three eighths grip size, I wasn't able to have as good of grip on that, on that ball, on them, on my specifically on my serve. Um, Pretty much every other um, stroke I have, I'm a little bit higher up, but that grip, I just didn't feel as secure on my serve. And so that really helped me on my serve, you know, generate that racket head speed, get and get um, a little bit heavier of a ball. And then that leads into probably my being able to rotate my wrist better. And I personally, I felt like I can get a little bit more spin. And I actually noticed that in my game, I started utilizing shorter angled balls because I could really get um, around that ball. And I'd, I'd use that ball as a as part of my game tactic to kind of pull my opponent off the court. 
And then in doubles, I also used it. It became one of my signature shots, my kind of low backhand angled passing shot um, to the person up at net. So going down that grip size, I kind of tapped into this spin. I'm not much of a spin player in general, but tapped into the spin and used it to my benefit. Nice. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people say that really helps with pronation on serves also. Yeah. Which is kind of what you're alluding to Tiff. How, how do you feel? What has made the difference? Yeah. Really similar to Brittany. I hold the racket on serve just like she does. Um, I think he does hang off and I do have smaller hands. So something I never realized before, I guess, is till I started play testing uh, more rackets was that it was a little bit harder for me to change uh, grips. So, you know, like as I'm moving, I'm playing from the baseline with a semi-western and as I move forward to net and I'm wanting to hit with continental as I um, am volleying, it wasn't as smooth as transition for me to change my grip the way I was holding the racket with a three eights as it is with the quarter. I just feel like it's it moves in my hand a lot more easily in a quarter um, as I transition forward. Not that I am a nut rusher, but I do come to the net. Um, and also, again, at net, for me, I just feel like I can have a better grip on the handle as I'm hitting volleys. And so if it's a little bit big in my hand and it's a really hard hit shot, it's harder for me to have the grip strength to like punch it. So like I write, I prefer to have that quarter because I feel more comfortable personally gripping on a little bit. If I'm feeling like I need a little bit of a firmer grip as the shot pace is increasing as I'm volleying. So that those are the two main things, um, for me in the quarter grips. And as, uh, Brittany's comment on this in the smaller grips is like uh, for serves, not all quarters are always feel the same either. It just does also. And I think this is a different discussion is just like grip shape makes a difference. And, but cap shape also does make a difference for me. Yeah. There's a couple of things that you guys have brought up that I want to hit on in this episode too, but, um, it's great to hear you guys say this because we hear like, Oh, Rafa uses a smaller grip and that's why he hits with so much spin. Obviously we know that mechanics help with spin generation, but just hearing you guys say that the grip, your wrist is more maneuverable and, you know, flexing and all that through this, Something else I know, um, Talk Tennis, our message board has a bunch of chatter about this as well. And something that I, I was looking in one of the threads, someone mentioned, how tight are you gripping the racket? And I know that I prefer a larger grip, but I also know that I prefer a, I like to hold on, I'm holding on very tight to my racket. So do you guys find that you have a very tight grip or is your grip more loose, more comfortable on your, your handle? Um, I guess I always like was told that I was gripping too tight. So I feel like I do grip looser. I don't know. I don't know if that's a mental thing, but like, I always feel like I'm, you know, I feel like if I grip too tight, I'm not playing. I, I don't know. I I feel like I was always told I grip too tight. So now I try to, you know, relax the grip in my hand and especially right before I return a serve or right before I go up to net to hit a volley, I'm always trying to make sure I'm not, you know, strangling it. <laughs> yeah. maybe because I'm like so tense they're like you know trying to loosen up but yeah, yeah I, I try not to so maybe <laughs> that that smaller grip helps I didn't even yeah. think correlated it yeah I um I know it's something that I used to think about is uh, because I was also told the same is that you grip really tightly and you don't need to hold it on on to it so tightly so it's not I'm not thinking about it too much but I think from the baseline at least I try not to hold on to it too tightly, but I do feel like I do tighten my grip as I am volleying because I'm just scared that I'm just going to let the racket flop. Like it helps me mentally to think about it. And maybe it's not the grip, it's my wrist that I'm just being more firm with my wrist as I'm volleying. Um, but uh, that's where I am thinking a little bit more about it is just like, don't let the racket flop over or drop onto the grip, yeah. which I have done that as well. Drop it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Well, and then I wonder, because I don't feel like anyone's ever told me that I grip the racket too tight. Um, so I wonder if like you guys never really did feel that comfortable with the four and three eights grip. And like, that's why now with like the smaller grip shape, it seems much more comfortable and you don't feel like you're squeezing too tight. Um, something else that you guys brought up and we hear about this all the time, different palettes, different grip shapes, different brands. Do you find certain brands run bigger than other brands? Do you find certain brands run smaller than other brands? Do you have a favorite brand grip? I mean, 
obviously based on like your racket of choice, that's probably your favorite, but let's hear what you guys think. Bray, I know you use a Yonex racket and I always feel like Yonexes feel a little smaller, <laughs> but, and I know you used to use a Babylon racket and a lot of people say otherwise. So maybe you can, you can start there. Yeah. I was literally going to say I was using a pure driving college and that's why I went down was because I was told that the, the Babylon grip sizes run big. So I went down to that quarter and I was like, Ooh, this feels nice. And then I, I mean, the quarter is still smaller than other brands, three eights grip size. And I just continued to gravitate toward that. And yeah, so I love the Yonex script shape. I know some people don't like it, but there is no flair to this butt cap. <laughs> again, goes to my whole holding the pinky off the edge is it makes it easy to do that. So yeah. Um, I do like the Yonex, um, grip shape and butt cap, same with a uh, Prince, which, um, I like that one. And I like that a lot. Uh, probably the ones I have a little bit, the hardest time would be Wilson. They have a, a more flared butt cap for me, which I feel like people that maybe hold up higher on the grip prefer. And I know even like some pros, like build it up to like baseball <laughs> bat status. <laughs> And I don't know if it's just because I grew up using them, but I I like that. Yeah. And I think Yonix, I, their three eights grip, I had it next to, I was feeling like what they feel like. And I feel like they've started to become more standardized, but maybe in the past, the Yonix was a little bit smaller, but the three eights for me, I'm definitely, I, I actually played to them side by side to see if I still prefer the quarter grip and I do. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> nice. Confirmed. And then I can also put an overgrip on it without it feeling too big um, for me too. Nice. Tip. Yeah. How about prints? And then also, I know you've been swinging the Ega Technofiber racket. How's that grip shape? I like that grip shape. And actually, Technofiber is one of the, we do have um, a bunch of quarters and I really appreciate it. And that one fits really nicely in my hand. I find that um, Dunlop is another good brand for my pinky off the edge of the racket while on serve <laughs> is they also have very little of a butt cap. For me, the um, the more traditional head palette and um, the vocal, those are a little bit harder for me in three eighths. So if I'm in a quarter, I totally don't have the same issues. Again, it goes back to just how easily and I know some people love that shape because they can know when they're in certain grips, like they can really feel it. But for me, it's, it was in a three eights, it's just difficult to um, change really quickly. So those are two that I really, I, I don't mind, or it works for me if it's in a quarter or even smaller, um, I could go down to an eighth and then I uh, can still play with those comfortably. Uh, so those are the the ones that I stand out to me as like, but I th- head's newer rounder palette is uh, fits like pretty sim- seamlessly. And I can play with that in a three eights pretty comfortably. Yeah. And it's worth noting, like Jada has to remind me of this every so often that like, here's an excuse for everyone listening. <laughs> if you are demoing a racket that's different than your brand of choice or your racket of choice, there's a chance that the grip shape is a different shape. And like that literally can play a big part into how you feel about what's happening when you're making contact. You know, everyone will have to get Troy to give us like a rundown of the exact shapes of all the brands. Cause that's like in his wheelhouse. But I know, yeah, like you mentioned that the head used to be octagonal. I don't even know what the shape is. You can really feel the bevels on a more traditional head. Racket, yeah. I feel like. And then we're going to be doing a podcast with Chris and Troy later all about leather grips and feeling the bevels, but you guys are like the opposite. You do not want to feel any bevels, like keep it smooth. Um, Another question I had for you, it sounds like you like the base grip more than with an overgrip. Does that seem to deteriorate faster? Do you feel like you need to change your base grip more often or not really a big deal? Have you had any issues with that? I actually prefer the smaller. So I I actually do prefer to play with an over grip, but it's just like if it's um, a three eights, then I do take it off just for grip size things. But um, I have played with a base grip, but I do prefer an over grip just because those get big grips get kind of worn out and dirty pretty quickly. And I like just the feel of certain overgrips. 
I'm a base group girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think for me, I was going to say this could probably be a whole nother podcast. Like the, the, the grips, you know, some are leather, some are cushioned. Uh, I do like the Yonix grip it comes with. Um, it's like kind of the perfect amount of not too cushioned. So I don't feel like it's too bulky, but also has a, a little bit more than a leather grip. Unfortunately, you can't buy them. So once I wear down <laughs> the um, base grip, which then I feel like it's compressed even a little bit more, then I will do an over grip or I'll have Choi find a nice replacement grip for me that's similar. But um, yeah, if I had my choice, I would do, do the base grip. We don't play outside as much and I'm not a sweaty person. So, <laughs> yeah, I know people are going to be like, but the overgrip, you need to change it. I know. I don't tend to need that as much. So once after like that original base grip does deteriorate, I will put an overgrip on it because I feel like that base grip has shrunken down and then I can put an overgrip on it. A Wilson overgrip without any issues of grip size. Definitely makes sense. And then do you guys have any favorite overgrips? I know sometimes people are looking for thinner overgrips for reasons like this, um, or they want to feel more connected to the base grip. Do you guys have any that you prefer or recommend? My go-to overgrip is Wilson Pro in white. Um, that's my favorite overgrip. And then I also do like uh, thinner grips too. So I've used the um, Wilson Pro, I think it's called Sensation. It's the thinner one. And uh, I like that as well. And to go back to how Britt had said it compresses, I also have sometimes want to switch out my base grip to something thinner. And I really like the, um, the one that comes on the pure strike, the Babylon pure strike. I like the Syntec team. I think it's called it's grip as a base grip. That's pretty thin. And I like the feel of it. I feel like Wilson pro is the old school answer. We all use that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to say, I like it in colors. I always in college, since we, I went to Cal Poly, t was right here. So I'd come and pick up a couple different neon colors to nice. really brighten up my, uh, my racket. So I would do definitely the colors. Um, I know Prince does also a, a thinner over grip too. If I felt like I needed an over grip on like a three eighths grips, then I definitely would trend towards the thinner over grip as well. I think that one's resi thin if I'm yeah. You okay. got it. Yeah. Yeah. That is a question we get asked often. Like what's your thinnest over grip? What's your thinnest replacement grip? So this is always good to chat about. Um, also I hopefully this question came up recently, but this answers a question we recently got was how come um in our play test reviews often there's no over grip on the racket. And um, just hearing the three of us chat, everyone has very different preferences, whether it's grip size, <laughs> over grip or no over grip, et cetera. So when you get a play test of four very different um, opinions and, and personalities and preferences, it, it's easiest just to have like the base over grip and like make it work. <laughs> yeah, most times the, um, the brands either send us a two or three very rarely do we get a two and three. So we kind of, we make, you'll even see like in a play test video, if let's say Mark and I are on the same thing, you'll see me play test it without the over grip. And then you'll see him have one to even two over grips on it to really build it up. Um, it's just, yeah, just our preferences and we customize it a little bit to make it work. But again, we'll also, we all have the ability to play test it and stock for. <laughs> yeah. And it's really, it's, it's really such an important part. It's, it's just as important as a string setup almost. I mean, it, you need to make sure that this is your connection to the racket. So it better be what you like. Are there any other benefits or reasons that someone who's never tried going down in grip size, you guys think that you should suggest? Well, I feel like everyone, I mean, you don't, you can't knock it till you try it. So if you haven't tried a smaller grip size, I feel like, I mean, never hurts to try it. Who knows? Maybe you will like it. You know, it, I feel like I probably would have never tried the smaller grip size unless I heard, you know, Babylon made a smaller grip size. I probably would have stuck with three eighths for the rest of my life, but just kind of like string tension and everything, you know, we're always kind of we're always in our office <laughs> messing around, <laughs> messing around <laughs> with, with everything. So, I mean, for me, it was just a feel preference. I liked how I, how it felt um, with my, you know, 
my wrist and I was able to add different things to my game. So I'd say if you haven't tried a slightly smaller, I mean, we even had um, Hannah, a previous play tester. She was a quarter. She went down to a one eighth at one point because <laughs> she was like, that, like, because she was trying to generate more spin. I think so. Like she was, did she originally have the pure arrow and she went to the pure strike or pure drive, something like that. So she went to the pure strike, which maybe had a little bit less spin. Mm -hmm. And so when she went to there, she dropped down one grip size. I think like definitely for someone out there, I was like, Ooh, I wish I could just add a little more spin to my game. Maybe this is something to try out. Yeah. I also want to throw in there too, is like, for me, I think, I guess I, as as a kid, I didn't know um, what grip size I should be using. And I kind of just like everyone was using a three eight. So I did a three eights. And I just want to point out, we have an article on our site about measuring your, how you can, whether it's, you have a racket, if you don't have a racket to tell for me, I actually should be using a quarter or a smaller, just on the size of my hands. So yeah, just, I mean, if you're not sure what grip size you should be using, we have a explanation of how to determine what your grip size is. And then, yeah, like try it, try to see if you want to try it and see if you like the smaller grip sizes or you're happy, you end up being like, Hey, I actually prefer the three eights a half. That's awesome, Tiff, because I think it, a day does not go by where the customer service floor does not get asked about um, how to measure their grip. So we'll add that link in this episode. And Jason has a great tutorial on how to measure. I think it's Jason, right? Did he do a video? I'm thinking of how to wrap an overgrip. So if you he need that too, <laughs> which is always important. <laughs> we cover all bases. We got you guys. Okay. I have to throw in one disclaimer because I am not a small grip user. Um, I am personally someone that who has tried a smaller grip and it, it does sometimes cause a little irritation to my wrist. I have a previous wrist injury, torn ligaments, all that fun stuff. So, um, if you are experiencing something like that, then maybe that's a sign that a smaller grip is not for you in no way, shape or form. Are we doctors here? <laughs> but I can just tell you based on my personal experience, that is why I don't prefer a smaller grip. So of course, two sides to every coin. Um, and it's definitely, you know, you can go and take a poll on of the players on tour and you might find the same thing. So you got some players using super small grips. You've got some players coming back from wrist injuries that have built up big grips. So figure it out for yourself. Try it out as Troy would say. <laughs> I will say, I think brands are kind of trending smaller too. Very few brands make that five eight grip size anymore. If they do, it's on, you know, a select racket. So it is kind of an industry trend as well that everyone's going smaller. So this is true. And as you know, it's kind of obvious, but you can't take a grip down as easily as you can build a grip up unless you're like someone super, I don't know. I feel like Troy could figure it out, but <laughs> all the, like, you have to be very crafty, like that's shaving down the, yeah. Not so, my yeah. <laughs> well, thanks you guys for joining and um, thanks so much for listening. And if anyone has any questions or has comments on why they use the grip size that they use, we'd love to hear it. So feel free to reach out, but in the meantime, happy hitting. Happy hitting.